um, if you were talking to your younger self uh, going through that passage, would there be any tools or or things that you wish you, you knew? Oh, massively. Yeah, I think I, I'd approach it very differently now. I think the talent will get you to the door, um, but the hard work will keep you there. And you've just got to be prepared to work harder than everybody else because you're when you're playing at the elite level of any sport, there's so many people that are there and that are really, really good already. Yeah. And they're the same of any job, really. You've just got to outwork everybody else. Whereas I just thought it happened that a naive 18 year old going out of school going, yeah, sweet. I've, I've done it. I've made it. This is all I need to do. I'll just turn up and it'll happen. Mm. But that's not the case at all. You've got to make it happen. You've got to have that drive to work really, really hard and then have constantly in the back of your head going, well, someone else is coming from my position. How am I improving? How am I getting better? And how am I stopping them from getting my job, essentially? What do you see hard work look like? What are what are the, the best athletes do and, and how does how does what does hard work mean to them? Uh, it's in every every situation really when and we've all been there where you've got that little voice on your shoulder that's telling you to stop and telling you that it hurts and telling you that uh, you can come back and do it tomorrow or we can do something else later. Um, telling that voice to fuck off and you've just got to push through and you've got to push yourself harder and, and go deeper into that little bit of pain and just be, pre be prepared for whatever's going to be thrown at you and having that mental resilience and being able to push through those, those difficult times because you're going to have them. Everyone's going to have them at different times and again, in any, in any walk of life, but you've got to be prepared to, to battle that and be mentally tough enough to go, no, I can do more than this. Because it's amazing what your body can do and you can always push it harder. Yep. So it's just having that ability and learning where your limit is. And that first step of, of emailing those clubs, was that Googling? Was it reaching out to mates like from home? Like how did you get that email list? Uh, a lot of it was was luck, was just trying to Google and, and find people online yep. and just trying to work out uh, who was where and uh, who was the head of performance and, and what their email would be. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, emailing them and, and reaching out. And then the storm one I couldn't get. I ended up having to speak to a friend of a friend of a friend who played and managed to get the email um, of a guy through that. But, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, again, very fortunate. It was, we just met in a cafe and just had a chat. It was a promise of absolutely nothing. It was just meeting for a chat. And I just said, look, if there's anything going, I'd love to take it, uh, whatever it is. And he said, yeah, you can uh, start with the 18s. As your career's grown, you've, you've built a strong network. Um, how does it, how do you go about building that form of a relationship? Is it, is it the same as making a mate or is it a bit different when, you've, when you're built, forming a, a sort of mentor relationship? Um, I'd say it's a, it's a little bit different in the sense it's, uh, some of them, the sessions are uh, were paid for. So Neil, I paid for his time yeah. because I you know, needed a, a service gen generally from him. So it was going to him, talking about certain topics. Um, and yeah, he charged for his time because that's really fair, really. Yeah. And the same as some of the others. Like if you're sharing all that noise that they've put years of time and effort and um, they've done all the work to get there, then I didn't mind paying for, for time with people. Yeah. But then I know some, some uh, people don't, some people do, but I don't mind investing myself if it's going to make me better. So yeah. I'll go and seek out good people and people I think are going to help me get to where I need to go. And if I need to invest in myself, then that's what you need to do. What about for the challenges in your career? What, what's, a, what's a huge challenge that you've gone through and, and what, how did you grow from it? I think it was um, probably that year that I didn't get paid was probably one of the hardest times uh, because I, was, I had to take the punt on myself and go, well, I'm not getting paid. I've got to work and still get some money. Yep. But I've got to show... But I'm still, I still want to be at the club, and I still. You've got to try and balance, yeah, life as well outside of that. So I had my wife at the time, and you kind of going, well, geez, how's this all going to fit together? I've got mm. to try and earn some money and try and have some social life and try and work and 
the days were full. I, I was working s- stupid hours, but it was what I wanted to do. And I had that drive to try and get there. Um, so that was a, a really challenging period. What about the highlights, mate, during your career? What are some, some highlights that stand out for you? Oh, I think the first time I had, had signed my full-time contract was probably the, the first one. I was I still remember where it was and the email came through and I got it and I teared up. I was I was that wrapped because it was just one of them you put you put so much into trying to get there. And then when you get recognized and it happens, it's just such a relief. Um so that that was a, a huge one. And then I was lucky enough in yeah, in Melbourne to be part of two premierships, which you know, that, that's what a lot of the time that's your peak. That's what you're aiming for every year. And yeah, to win two and be fortunate enough to be part of that was um, fantastic. I was so lucky in, in that aspect. Um, I was just part of a great team. Um, I was, uh, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. They were, they were massive pilots. 